Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time for the Jam for Leah. Hoping I'm saying your name right. Um, Leo was a transgendered person who was pulled out of school and forced into therapy and such, and um, conversational therapy to be specific, and she ended up um, committing suicide in December. She was very much into game development and just indie stuff in general. So they decided to do a game jam for her to raise awareness as well as to promote a petition to make conversational therapy that you're forced into by your parents um, abuse as opposed to okay, basically. Uh, I don't really know much about conversational therapy or anything like that, but the petition that you can sign is on the jam page as well as several jams, um, I mean several charities are also going to be benefited through this jam and just raise awareness in general. So, yeah, I'm playing all the entries and about each one for about a minute. If you want to check them out specifically, links in the description. If you want to check me out, all my info is also in the description. Thanks for watching. Next. <coughs> First, we're playing the game Fit In. You drag the shape into the mold. See, it doesn't fit, so you have to drag it back where it is. Now, cut. Now put him into the mold. Like everyone. He's fitting perfectly. Let's do it with another. This is like a really depressing game. So a lot of these games are probably going to have a lot of meaning like this. How we don't just fit into molds. I was trying to like see if I could destroy it and make it like smaller, but the actual square itself doesn't break, just the squares on the outside. So four squares. Next. Next we're playing the game Transforms. Finding out your transgendered isn't easy. That was the blue box. So I can go buy that one. Alright. Eric use space and escape the mind controls. He like stuck on the shapes. They want to follow their inner feelings, their heart inner feelings. Alright. So I'm collecting these dots, I think. Uh society experts expect certain behavior based on their external appearance. Okay, so I want to be blue. I don't want, I don't want pink. Well, I think it's like an orangey pink. I don't really know. Get another blue. Come here, box. The box is making it harder for me to get my blue. Bam. Bam. I think I got another pink, maybe. Oh, I'm not happy with pink, so I don't like sad faces. Keep going with blue. Next. Next, we're playing the game Clarity. Alright. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, shit. Oh, does my shift? Okay. I didn't mean to fly. I'm doing very good. Oh no! There's lots of stuff. Lots of stuff to remember. Double tap. Okay. My shield recharge, man. 
so many things. Uh, Clarity is but a girl named Claire who fights monsters in her dreams. I'm guessing this is about dream fighting. It's a prototype, so more should come. Most of these games seem to be prototypes with more to come. Right, we'll jump down this. Boop. She's very cute. Next. Next, we're playing the game Closeted. I'm a girl. What? You look like a boy to me. What is your name? Jupiter. Jupiter? But it says right here that your name is Brandon. I don't know why they think I'm a boy. I look nothing like a boy. Now, should I get ready for the day? Yes. Sigh, who am I kidding? One look in the mirror tells me that everyone else will see me as a boy. No one's going to see me as a female unless I conform to their standards. Should I shower? Yes. Why wouldn't I shower? Should I shave my body hair? Yes. I haven't shaved anything except my face once in my life. I haven't shaved anything except my face once in my life. People are sure to notice. But sure I want to do this. Yeah. Should I start taking steps eventually? There's no time like the present. Okay, I'm all showered. Should I put makeup on? Well, I'm not actually very good at makeup, and I don't think that you need makeup to look beautiful. I'm a girl, so say so no. As much as I like to. Oh, she would like to. And I have boy clothes, so it'd be pretty weird if I put on makeup. Got plenty of time for a class. Uh, let's go shopping. I'm telling myself I have to do this, and I'm feeling daring today. All right, I'm here. Man, I'm getting nervous already. Which section? Well, I'm a woman, so. All right, Jupiter, deep breaths. You can do this. All right, there's no one looking. Just grab them and go. You did it. Wish I could try them on. This is good enough for me. Now I just have to go to self. Oh, fuck. There's no self-checkout. Deep breaths, Jupiter. Deep breaths. Did you find everything okay, sir? Uh, yes. I wish you couldn't, wouldn't call me that, though. Don't say anything. You have a nice day, sir. Ugh, thank you. You did, too. Well, I actually did it, and it wasn't as bad as I thought. Well, it's time to go to class. Probably go. Hmm. The thing about, um... Clothes shopping and stuff, like, I get a little uncomfortable clothes shopping. I'm going to tell you a deep story now because these are all, like, deep games. Um, I don't I don't like how, like, guys can't get girl clothes anyway because it's not like I don't shop at the men's section of Target because they have cool graphic tees. That's perfectly acceptable. But a guy can't get a skirt, which is just weird because if they're more comfortable in skirts, go for it. But uh, when it comes to, like, checking out, I don't think people that should feel nervous because um, as someone... As a checkout person, you go through, like, millions of items a day. And even if you're a guy buying girl clothes, people aren't going to think anything of it. So you should go ahead and do it. Next. Next, we're playing another text base called Naomi. Start. Naomi was cornered, utterly trapped, and absolutely doomed. She could feel her bile rising in her throat, her knees trembling, her eyes welling with tears. She wasn't ready to go back to playing pretend. She wasn't ready. No way was Naomi prepared to be seen. Hayden. Nio? He always shortened her name ever since her parents had introduced her as Nio. They hadn't meant to give her such a girly name when she was born. Overseas, Naomi was unisex. Here it was distinctly feminine. It was something that had delighted Naomi at first. She was completely and utterly paralyzed, her back to him. Naomi had been so proud of finding this dress online in a size that she hoped would fit her. She had been so impatient to try it on that she couldn't be damned to wait until it was after dark. She had her, she, That had cost her. Naomi never got a chance to zip up the back of the dress so she knew he could see her bra strap. Her hair was far too short to hide it. She couldn't even drop the dress and pretend it was a joke. No one went as far as wearing women's underwear for a joke. Right now, more than anything, she wanted to die. She'd rather be dead than face the wrath of Hayden and whoever he told. She'd rather die by the hand of God than die by the hands of people who just hated her. Niall? Uh... He trailed off. He didn't know what to say. Of course he didn't. She couldn't hear him stepping closer, closer, too close, too close. His hand touched her shoulder softly. She wanted to be comfor comforted like he had comforted her so many times before, but he had never been privy to this. She wanted to trust him with as much as she trusted him with everything else. But oh god, she was ter too terrified. Far too petrified, people changed their personalities at the drop of a hat about people like her. She hadn't seen it, read about it, heard stories from other girls like her. Naya, what's wrong? She couldn't answer, couldn't move, couldn't breathe. Her heart was beating so fast it felt like it was going to burst. She couldn't take this. She couldn't take this panic. Next. To put it simply, 
Union Township, Warren County, Ohio. The Ohio State Highway Patrol is investigating a deadly pe pedestrian accident. The accident happened Sunday around 2.20 a.m. on southbound I-71 near the southern Lebanon exit mile marker 28. According to the troopers, 39-year-old Adamame Ahmad was driving a blue 2006 Freightliner southern bound on the I-71 when he hit 17-year-old Joshua Acorn. I, I felt like a girl trapped in a boy's body. I felt that way ever since I was four. Leah Acorn, Alcorn. Like a girl trapped in a boy's body. So girl. When, er, uh, it was a name I loved. A name that rolled off the tongue with minimal effort. Leela. Oh, it's Leela. I've been calling her Leela. It's Leela. I'm sorry. Leela. Those ones that weren't close, my parents called me by my real name. Those ones that were close called me by my real name. It was a name I hated. It was a name given to me that I didn't that didn't give me anything. An identifier that didn't give identity. It's impossible to say it often to pronounce the name properly. You have to lash your tongue, Joshua. I refuse to be identified by such a horrid name. The teenage was struck by a tractor trailer on the Interstate 71 at about 2:15 a.m., about four miles from the home. This is about his death. Next. Next, we're playing the game Trans Anxiety. This uh, game cost a dollar twenty-seven. Normally, I don't buy Game Jam games, but I felt that it was okay to do so this time because all of the money, a hundred percent of the money made from this game, is going to the charities listed on the front page of the Jam, which are all positive charities. So yeah, I bought it. With that, let's play. Hmm. Hi there. Before we begin, may I ask you whether you're cisgendered or trans? All information is entirely confidential. I don't know what cisgendered is, so I'm gonna look that up. Okay, I'm cisgendered. Um, I was born in the body of a female, and I still feel that I am female, so that's basically what it is. You're a cis, really? I never would have known. Don't worry, you can barely tell you're cis. You're totally passing as trans. I see what this is doing. You know, you're such a strong person for being cis. You. You really inspire me. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, I see it. You almost fooled me there. You almost believed... I almost believed that you were trans. You really shouldn't try to trick people. It's not nice. Don't worry. You're really a trans person to me. Oh. Anyways, I ask because the following contains transphobic content. It also contains trans mythology, and as such, may be triggered to trans or non-binary people. It contains hurtful experiences that trans folks deal with on a daily basis. But it's obvious just a tiny fragment of many trans and non-binary folks go through, and an attempt at exploring the inner anxieties of early transition. It's just one voice and shouldn't be taken as reflecting as reflective of the entire body of experience trans folks have. I really hope you keep that in mind while playing. Also, this is entirely fictional. It's a reflection of real experience, sure, but it's fictional. Happy to continue. Okay, I'll leave it to it. Don't worry, you being cis will be our secret. <laughs> that was a nice intro. Sadly, I have to say, next. Next, we're playing the game Climb. Oh, I got a text. Mom, we need to talk. Answer your phone. Ignore. Answer another text. Check phone. Brother, you okay? Ignore. Phone buzzes. Check phone. Are you ignoring me? Ignore. Phone buzzes. Check phone. Hey, I'm in town for the weekend. Want to grab coffee? Okay, I can't just keep sitting here. I've got to change something. Reply on my way. Oh, well, that's like really cool little bit of light. Name changing info. Changing your legal gender and or name means wading through a forest of red tape. People who have done this before can people who have done this before you can guide your way. Okay. Changing your name is a very hard process. My name's a bit silly, so I've wanted it changed past and I've looked into it just out of curiosity. It is a hard process. 
LGBT forum. It's not always positive to find local transgendered people. Online forums can help fill the gap. It's not always possible, not positive. I was like, why isn't it positive? They meant possible. Well, I meant possible, really. They wrote possible. I'm just having trouble reading. Got another light. Pet. Dog, he's cuddly, he needs you, he couldn't possibly care less about gender rules. People at the shelter are nice too. Hormone treatment guide, hormone therapy, and transgender surgery are complicated and expensive. Every piece of information helps. Sometimes it can be hard to put in towards exactly what you're going through. Sometimes someone else has already done it for you. So blog posts. I fell. Is it okay if I go this way? Supportive friend. People who care about you in this time. Especially if you can hang out and talk to the person when you need to. Fridays. Most college campuses have organizations for LGBT students. That's cool. Next. Next, we're playing the game Delicate Thread. It's a dollar to get the download. 100% of what's donated goes to the charity. Ooh. I don't really know what's happening. I just went through and read everything. And I guess um, Leela, I'm going to pronounce her name right, suffered from anxiety attacks. So, my sister has anxiety attacks from time to time. It's like a really scary thing for her. So this kind of uh, has to do with that. It is kind of like, chaotic. Bump. Not really sure what to do though. Next. Next, we're playing the game Fight Like a Girl. People call me a tranny, a trap, and a fag, but I never deceived anyone. All I wanted was for everyone to accept me the way I am. My body doesn't matter. I am a girl. My beloved city is under attack from those forces of evil, and the magical girls who defend it need my help. I have, to, I have been chosen by the forces of light who protect the city to become a magical girl, too. I've always dreamed to be one of them. Now I fight for the city and everyone in it. I don't remember how to, just let me look up how to attack real quick. I thought it was space, but space doesn't seem to be working. Uh, well, I guess there's no animation for it, but I am punching. So it's space to punch, but there's not really an animation for it. Alright. Don't throw rocks. Throwing rocks at fun. Nope. I have friends now. The other magic girls thanked me and told me we would all be friends from now on. And I could count on them whenever I need. The city is safe and everyone is celebrating. I am happy because I finally listened to my heart. I am a girl. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. Next. 